Hey, welcome back. Second star right in here and talking some more Raid Shadow Legends. The big event today, of course, is uh, all this weekend we have the Void Summon Rush event. You get a double chance to get uh, Void Legendaries and Epics, which would be great because uh, I've been playing for months and I have yet to get a Void Legendary, and I'm sure there's a lot of people in that same boat because Void Shards are hard to come by without uh, opening the wallet, which I did for this event. I bought a, I bought a Summon Rush pack. What, am I gonna, what can I tell you? Um, I, I want I, there's some voids out there that I still want so my raid pass is also broken today so I'm kind of missing out on the uh, uh, on the extra XP for the champion training event and I actually dig this champion training event I know their players events get a lot of hate and usually it's deserved but there was some pretty good low tier rewards in this new uh, training event um, there's two five star legendary artifacts um, that you get right away. And then my first one was a, a five-star legendary crit damage gloves. Awesome, man. You can always use that, right? So I'm not too displeased with the lower tier rewards. And it goes on for a week, so you got plenty of time to move up there. There's tomes. There's there's good stuff in this, in this event. And it's going on for a week. And so just by making food like you're going to do anyway, you're going to get rewarded for doing this. So it's kind of like a login bonus almost uh, in a way. Uh, of course, I'm missing out on my bonus XP for that, so it's going to take me longer, and I'm going to get Ajita for not maximizing the efficiency of my energy, and I'm going to be sad about it. But I put in a ticket. We'll see what happens. Maybe they'll fix it. All right, so let's see what we have going on here today. Um, the Oh, the Brachus Fusion. Dude, I totally get people being upset with this one. All right, they have a lot in here. Uh, new epics. I mean, why... Why do that, right? Not only is it set people back because no one's going to have these right off the bat. You're not going to have save them because they just came out this weekend. And also, what if we want to use them, right? What if what if we draw some of these? Uh, say, say we draw an Umbral Enchantress. We don't want to fuse. We want to play with it for a while. See how how good she is. I, I don't know. Uh, I can see the the benefit in that you, if you wanted a Snorting Thug, you could fuse them with some stuff. So uh, there's that. But then if you want Brack is the shifter, then you have to give up all your stuff. I don't know. I, I, I kind of wish that... You can go either way. If you're not really trying for Brackus and you just want... Maybe these were like really, some really good epics, and that doesn't really apply here. Uh, you could either just fuse up to get the epics that you want, and then not worry about this one. But if you want Brackus and you want these epics, then you're kind of, you know, SOL, I guess. And then plus, there's some there's new rares involved in this too and some of these rares are pretty good so anyway the Brock's event and it's short it's a short event too so I don't know I think that uh, I'm not even going to bother with the Brockus I'm not going to think about it I don't want to waste any more mental effort on something that was so ill conceived my opinion uh, okay so let's do some void summons so what do you think alright I have 16 that's 2 less than my Madam Saris where I failed so miserably that Madam Sarah's, I didn't get her, and I was, uh, I was displeased. But today, I have a totem, something dredged up from the past that I found found in my desk, an abandoned desk drawer, PC Accelerator magazine. Now, if anyone remembers the glory days of of print media, PC Accelerator was one of the greatest uh, magazines out at the time. Uh, and when I say at the time, I mean, pardon me for a second. <clears throat> oh. March of 2000, right? And this was the, the disc edition of PC Accelerator, so it came with a little CD-ROM full of demos. Oh, let's see, cover story of Quake 3, right? Unreal Tournament, Wheel of Time, Die Katana, Planescape Torment. Oh, good times. There's an ad for a, a Voodoo 3 2000 PCI or 3000 AGP version. Remember when that was a thing? Anybody? Oh, look. Icewind Dale. Oh, classic. All right, what else do we have here? Oh, look. A two-page spread for Unreal Tournament. Oh, good times. Oh, and let's see. I, there's something I, had, I hadn't noticed in here that I wanted to show off. Alienware. Alienware gaming machines. Okay, here we go. Here we go. They're top-of-the-line Area 51, right? Intel Pentium 3 800 megahertz processor. All right, 128 meg of RAM. That's that's RDRAM, mind you. PC eight hundred has a one point four four megabyte floppy drive. 
All right, here we go. Here we go. Um, a 34 GXP, 22 gig, 7200 RPM hard drive, 22 whole gigs. Oh, do you remember when like you had a 20 gig hard drive? You're like, why would anyone ever need that much space? Oh, these were the days, huh? And all this for only thirty-seven hundred dollars. Wow, good times. All right, so PC accelerator. Uh yeah, the two thousands were were a simpler time. All right, so let's move on, shall we? Let's get into these summons. I have my PC accelerator. I think we'll be okay. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. First up, we have. Oh, it, it, it's so exciting that it broke my machine. Look at that. No, oh, it can't be that exciting. It is not exciting. It's Skirmisher. It is the the champion that I get more than any other void. It's Skirmishers and Daywalkers. That's uh, that's what my uh, vault is full of. All right. So, an inauspicious debut, but we shall sally forth. We will carry on, and we'll see what's next. Okay. Wow. Horrible again. Interceptor is probably one of my least favorite voids. All right, I'm just let's just move. Ugh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Also, not looking good. Oh, I love bulwark. I have uh, I had to fuse my bulwark. I think uh, recently, so I don't think I I have. I think I have one in my vault, but bulwark is great. Um, I'm pleased with this pull, despite it being just a simple rare. He's a great, great champion. Oh, here we go. Let's see what we got. Oh, my God. Exemplar. She's actually really underrated. Uh, not in the fact that she does a bunch of cool things, because she does not, but she hits like a Mack truck, like a runaway Mack truck, like with no brakes, going down like an alpine mountain uh, highway. Uh out of control. Uh, she hits really hard. Um, so in that regard, she's good. But um, attacks an enemy twice, an extra hit of the attack is critical. Yeah, so with a crit build, she's pretty sweet. And actually, I'm, and I, I'm saying this, I'm building her up because I, I'm actually working on six starring an exemplar for a video because she's she's pretty cool. Again, my gear stinks, so she's not going to be as, as good as some other people's exemplars, but but she is pretty sweet. All right, so uh, as far as, yeah, right, like I'm going to use that. Um, so we got an epic, so that's good, even though it's one I already have one or two of. That's okay. Mm, like I said, Daywalker and Skirmishers, scourges of my existence. I have 11 left. All right, you know what? Maybe it's because... Maybe it's because I have my P6 letter backwards, that's probably the problem. Harvester. I mean, I saw that and then I was like, Relic Query Tender, but then it's not. It's Harvester, because Harvester is void. Uh, what, what does Harvester do before I get all all depressed? Destabilize. Attacks the enemy twice. Has a third horse chance of placing me 50% weakened for two turns. Eh, it's afraid of Midland. A cursed scythe attacks an enemy with thirty percent chance of placing a block buffs to it for two turns. Um, eighty percent chance for two turns after it's descended, and temporal burst attacks an enemy with a ninety percent chance of increasing the cooldown of one of the target skills by two turns at random. Well, yeah, I think it's. I mean, I have Sinesha, so why would I ever need this person um, to, for that? Oh ah, well, moving on. She's not very good. Or at least I can't conceive of a situation where she'd be better than a, a different champion. Ugh, I hate Ox. And there's no real reason for my hatred. I just don't like him because he doesn't contribute anything that I don't already have. Oh, boy. Hey, Painkeeper is great. Although I have an arsenal of Painkeepers already. And I think they're fully booked, so I don't know uh, why we need this. Eight left. Oh, this is... So far, pretty miserable, guys, and I'm going to apologize on behalf of myself to you. Oh, this is uninspiring. Oh, well, I mean, I'm not going to say Rage Marker's bad, because he's not. With a continuous heal, with um, a poison, even though it's the, the low poison, and an HP burn. So if 
if my account was like four days old and then I pulled Rangemonger, I'd be happy. My account is not four days old. It is uh, four months or more old. And uh, this just isn't, uh, isn't doing well for me. So everyone who was mad at me for having a really good Ancient Shard pull uh, uh, two weeks ago or, or last week, whenever that was, um, you can enjoy my suffering now that I'm getting gar garbage. No, oh my God! Oh, jeez. <sighs> right. Okay, six left. So... Ugh, guys, oh my God! Right. I am displeased. Okay, oh, here we go. Something good, something good. <sighs> yes, skull crown. I don't have a skull crown. I have a skull crown now. I can breathe a sigh of relief that my uh, $19 investment on void shards or whatever it was uh, has been somewhat uh, rewarded with a character that I have wanted for a very long time and now... I possess. And for those of you who are like, why is he so excited that he gets Skull Crown? It's Wave of Souls, attacks all enemies, place an extra hit. The target has more than 50% hit points. Um, Corrupting Touch, attacks all enemies, and has a 50% chance of placing a 25% weaken. And the passive, which I, you know me and my passives, I love them. Unkillable for one turn every time the hit point drops below 20. So uh, a lot of utility for Skull Crown. And a revive. Uh, out of her fourth ascension and um, a speed 23% speed in the arena uh, skull crown is top of the line top tier a Cadillac uh, among well I'm on among American cars uh, champion so I am pleased with skull crown all right so four left and uh, oh no oh no my capacity all right guys I will uh, I will pause so that you don't have to see me fret over what I'm gonna do Un momento, por favor. Okay, I'm back. I just I had some vault space actually, so it was pretty easy to just move some stuff over to the vault and ask my wife to stop vacuuming, which uh, w would help hopefully with the the audio quality. And she well, she wasn't pleased that I had her stop vacuuming. I'm gonna have to when I'm done here, I'm just gonna have to go and finish vacuuming for her to, as a as a kind of like little little makeup event. Okay, so I have four left. <sighs> Let's see. Ugh. Oh, well, I mean, Veteran's great. I got him uh, last time, so now I have two. Good, 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 good. Veteran is a is, is class. Veteran is class. Oof. Um, Bellower, again, I, not something that I need, but a fantastic, fantastic champion. Uh, I am pleased with the pull, regardless. Uh, okay. Come on. Anything? Anything? Nope. Uh, Ifrit. What's cool about Ifrit is that he does a lot of really awesome things that you want your champions to do. Unfortunately, he just does them badly. Right? So, 15% weaken rather than the 25% weaken. And uh, a decreased attack uh, for two turns, but it's on an A2. Um, but Seamus Max HP is kind of cool. And then has a passive uh, uh, decrease in damage from a single hit if it sees 30% hit points. He, he's, he's fine. He's like a cool cool character that that uh does a lot of things just not necessarily as well as as others okay and this is it man i'm down to one i'm down to one so let's cross our fingers cross our toes cross our eyes dot our t's Ugh, well wow painsmith that was like that's like an insult it's not. Painsmith's not bad. He's just not epic or legendary. Um, ugh. Cannot be revived. That's always. Eh, eh, block the buffs. Eh, text me. Eh. You know, he's fine. He's fine. I really, really, that was it. That was my. That was my thing. A double epic chance, and I get two epics out of sixteen shards. 
Is that that did that really happen? Is that that's what transpired today? That was my those were my polls. An exemplar and a skull crown. Well, you know, the skull crown makes it worth it, but wow. That was uh, a little unsatisfying outside the skull crown. But you know, it's RNG, man. It's RNG. Maybe RNG was uh, was dissatisfied with my PC accelerator offering. I was excited, but it was fun sharing with you that little time capsule of what was cool in March of the year 2000. But uh, I digress. Uh, I want to thank you very much for putting up with this <laughs> this uninspiring uh, set of polls. But you know, we do what we can. Voids are hard to come by, and. Uh, Life gives, life takes, RNG gives, RNG takes. I'm just going to say thank you for watching and take care, and I'll see you next time.